Hello, my name is Leo, and welcome to another episode of Doki Doki Literature Club. Last episode, uh, Yui looked at me very creepily. Ahem. <clears throat> it actually reminds me of in uh, the Attack on Titan PS, uh, well, the Attack on Titan, the new, new, well, newish <coughs> Attack on Titan game. Uh, there's like that, there's like requests you can do, and if you do three of them for a person, they'll give you like a little, cool little cutscene. It's over the like stuff that's like from OVAs or or like just the anime in general. But one of them was like uh I think it was Sasha asking Ellen to go hunting with her. And also Krista asking Ellen to look for her comb. And like as Krista's asking her you know, when when Sasha asks him to go hunting, Picasso walks in off 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 frame and goes, Look, if you want don't let don't, don't take Aaron on dangerous missions. If you want to go hunting, I'll go. It's just like, oh, okay, well, yeah, you're a pretty good hunter, so I'll take you. And then when Kiss is like, where's my, my comb? And Ellen's like, I'll help you look for it. And then Mikasa comes in and has like these, the same eyes that Yuri had in the last episode. And she doesn't say anything. She just like stands behind Aaron, just does that, that face to, uh, to Kiss. And Kiss is like, ah. Actually, you know what? I think I'll be fine. I'll look at it by myself. And I was like, oh, really? Oh, okay. Cool. <laughs> Alright, let's show our poems. Well, you can be the vice vice president, Natsuki. Because <laughs> you are the third, like, senior person in this club. And here we go! Oh, this is new. Here we go. I don't know how else to bring this up, but there's been something I've been worried about. Yuri has been acting kind of strange lately. You've only been here a few days, so you may not know what I mean. But she's normally not like this. She's always been quiet and polite and attentive, things like that. Okay, this is really embarrassing, I'm not, but I'm forcing myself to suck it up. The truth is, I'm really worried about her. But if I try talking to her, she'll, get, she'll just get mad at me again. I don't know what to do. I think you're the only person that she'll listen to. I don't know why, but please try to do something. Maybe you can convince her to talk to a therapist. <laughs> Jesus. Uh, I've always wanted to try to be better friends with Yuri, and it hurts me to see this happening. I know that I'm going to hate myself later for admitting that. But right now, I don't care. I just feel so helpless. So please see if you can do something to help. I don't want anything bad to happen to her. I'll make you cupcakes if I have to. Just please try to do something. As for Monica, I don't know why, but she's been really dismissive about this. It's like she just wants us to ignore it. So I'm mad at her right now, and that's why I'm coming to you about this. Don't let her know I wrote this. Just pretend like I gave you a really good poem, okay? I'm counting on you. Thanks for reading. That's a cool poem. I changed my mind. Also, I have no face. Ignore everything you just read. There's no point in trying to do anything. It's Judy's own fault that she's so unlikable. Can you hear me, Leo? If you would just spend more time with Monica, all these problems would go away. You really know I'm too messed up for someone as wonderful as you. <laughs> just look at Monica from now on. Just Monica. Just Monica. Just Monica. <laughs> Alright. Well, I guess just Monica. Just Monica! Okay, sure. Just Monica. Oh my god, it's starting. 
just Monica. <laughs> what the fuck? <gasps> ah! Who should have shot the bombs or next? Monica? Fuck it, you Finally! <laughs> Yuri holds my palm to see her face. I love it. I love everything about it. Leo, I want to take this home. Okay. Not really, but you know. I still don't know how to describe it. Okay, to be feeling this one, right? It's not bad, right? Well, she's just going to take this home and keep it in my room. You hope that it makes you feel good when you think about me having it. I'm gonna whack off all over it. I mean, whack off? To kill us, whack off. The wording is not quite the right word, but yeah, whatever. Same difference. When I, what is it? When I think about you, I touch myself. Oh, I don't want anybody else. Oh no, oh no, okay. I'll even touch. I wish I could show you my face right now. Like, oh boy. I wish I could show you my face right now. Yeah. Well, hey, at least you didn't say whack off, right? That would have been weird. But give myself paper cuts so your skin oil enters my bloodstream. Yeah. <laughs> oh, those eyes! You can have my palm too, I guess. Besides, after you read it, you'll know exactly. Besides, after you read it, you'll know you're really going to want to keep it. Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on. Yeah, see, so that, that's the original. I hope that it, it makes you feel good. I'll take good care of it. Okay, let's go. Yeah, take it. I can't wait any longer. Hurry, read it! Uh-huh. 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 Am I supposed to be able to read this? I cannot read that at all, dude. I don't think you're supposed to do it. Well, look how the blood stain is, uh, and this, whatever, whatever fucking yellow weird stain this is, uh, is like not on the paper itself, it's just a, uh, yeah, it's just a, a mask, I guess. I think that's red. Alright. Oh! Do you like it? I wrote it for you. You just couldn't tell the poem was about such and such. More importantly, I've endowed it with my scent. See, I know the most thoughtful person. So wait, what do you mean what do you mean your scent? You're not talking about the yellow spot, are you? Did you pee on the paper? Oh. Oh. I... I think I'm gonna vomit. Wait, why? Alright, well, that was fun. Alright, Monica. 
So yeah, I think you saw something really you might place to say. I didn't want to have to tell you this, but I don't think I have a choice. Getting kind of dangerous for to spend so much time with Yuri. I don't know why, but she seems pretty easily excitable when she's around you. Which shouldn't be a problem in itself. But when Yuli gets too excited, she finds a place to hide and starts cutting herself with a pocket knife. Isn't that kind of messed up? <laughs> she even brings a different one to school every day. She has a collection or something. I mean, it's definitely not because she's depressed or anything like that. I think she just gets some kind of high from it. It might even be like a sexual thing. But the point is, you've kind of been enabling her. I'm not saying it's your fault though, but I guess that's why I had to explain it to you. So, uh, I think if you keep your distance, that would probably be best for her. While well, you're at it, don't be shy to spend a little more time with me! Monica! To put lightly, I at least have it together in the head. I know how to treat my own, my club members. Anyway, guess we won't worry about your... Oh, why not? Oh, right. You really took it. You really should at least have the, the courtesy of letting you finish sharing it before taking it. Well, whatever. If it makes you happy, I won't stop her. As for mine... I worked really hard on it, so here we go! Hope it's uh, effective. Here it goes! Jeez, that really startled me. Um, well, I guess I kind of messed up at uh, writing the poem. I was just trying to move on. Let's just move on. Uh, <laughs> I don't know what I'm saying yes to. I can't even highlight the text. It's the secret, secret poem. Can you hear me? No. Oh, yes I can. Okay, everybody. It's time to figure out the festival first wishes. Let's see how it gets over with. Jeez. Why is the mood so weird today? Look at this. I'm gonna have to choose what I hang out with now. <gasps> Wait. Did Yuri kill Sayori? I made it look like a suicide? Oh, maybe. Who knows? Like, you would fucking know! What you care about now is dragging Leo around with you and your stupid fucking books. You and Monica! Hey. You didn't even do anything. Okay, then why not let Leo decide what to do instead of abusing your power? I'm not abusing my power. Yes, you are, Monica. Just let Leo make the choice, okay? Okay, fine. Fine! Jeez! Leo, I know how fed up you are with these two by now. We can just... Now you shut your fucking mouth! And let him decide for himself! Bitch! 
You shut your mouth! Jesus Christ! This is never gonna end. Just made the choice, okay? Oh. oh! I can't save the game! Oh no, okay, I need to choose. I need to choose before we end this episode. Oh no. <laughs> Am I, am I gonna go, am I gonna go with Yuri? I really wanna know... Okay, okay, let's, let's think about this logically. We already know what Yuri's all about, mostly. And maybe hanging out with her can kind of stop her from cutting the shit out of herself. Uh, Natsuki's got this fucking father, abusive father. I don't know, but maybe going there might somehow be able to help her, protect her or something. We don't actually know what's going on with Monica. The game is like Stanley Parable, Stanley Parable, like forcing us to like hang out with Monica. But fuck the fuck Stanley Parable. Um, I kind of want to hang out with Yuri, just because. Even though you'll do the exact same thing you did last time, yeah, why not? Yeah. Oh. You motherfucker! Did you just see what the game did? I don't know if you noticed that, but I went to click fucking Yuri and the mouse moved to Monica. Oh! Oh, it's on now, bitch! You wanna go? Hold on. Oh boy. <laughs> it's kind of weird when you fast forward it like that. Wait, stop screaming! Stop the game. Stop the game here. Which is a weird place to save it, but just to store Okay, save the game Yep. You fucking asshole. <laughs> Fuck you, mouse. No. 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 Bad mouse. You can do it, though. Let's do it circles. Oh, I missed it. Got it! What the fuck? Saving the game! <laughs> when we come back, we're gonna find out what the fuck this is! But for now, my name is Leo and I'll see you next time.